Hi, welcome to this week's episode. I have downloaded a fresh Blender 2.79 release Candy 2, and I want to show you a couple of nifty features about the grease pencil and store camera views. Let's get started with a scene I prepared with a T-Rex primitive. I created many different layers with strokes and fill colors. You can see that on the lower part of the end panel at your right hand. On your left side T-panel you will find more settings for grease pencil like thickness and sensitivity. If you really want quality on your strokes, please set smoothness and iterations to 3. Make sure you have checked continuous drawing on your T-panel. And then press the letter D on your keyboard to start drawing on your viewport. Ah, I moved my camera! It's all messed up now! If you mess up, there's a nifty new feature on Blender 2.79 which will store a camera or a 3D Windows view to a previous position. Choose POV and save current, rename the view and click on the box icon. Now your view is restored. Did I mention Blender does pick up your tablet strokes as smoothly as any regular 2D drawing application? And this is no Wacom, it's a 19 inch UG tablet, smooth as the wind. But we still got a little alignment problem with the mesh and the drawn lines. So let me drag and drop my grease pencil layer onto an empty parent. Nope, doesn't work. To parent a grease layer, you have to go to the bone option under grease layer panel and select the object you want to parent the layer with. This is how you can animate bones to affect your grease layers. <laughs> Pretty nifty. I won't get into animation in this video, but let's refine this beast. Press and hold the letter D and then E. This will open up the pie menu for the grease pencil. We need to get into edit mode inside the grease pencil layers to be able to select E for sculpting our layers and refine them. Once you know how to invoke the menus, it's all a matter of practicing with the tools. You can read more about the shortcuts and tools from the official Blender documentation. Now wait, I know what you're all thinking. How am I going to draw a plane on a 3D space? Does the cursor and stroke know where the ray cast will hit? I mean, I can't even do this on other commercial packages, so why Blender? When you work on your stroke and color layers, make sure to name them. Left color is a stroke, right color is fill. Make sure fill opacity is at 1 if you want to fill your strokes. Once you get more practice with the shortcuts, Grease Pencil really is a very artistic way to work on a 3D environment. Blender 2.79 has even more awesome features as add-on and implemented options like the new denoiser and filmic profile colors, which will really give Blender a boost for your work. Thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to visit my Gumroad, my YouTube channel, and subscribe for more tips and news about 3D production. I really love to jump cut long explanations, don't you? Leave your comments below. Thank you.